Nowadays you'd be hard pressed to read a health magazine or step into any gym without hearing something about paleo or ketogenic diet. Many people follow these meal plans because they want to lose weight or improve their overall health. The thing is the ketogenic and paleolithic diets focus on some of the same basic principles but there's a difference. So, let's figure out what is the difference between these two popular today meal plans. What is the keto diet? A keto or ketogenic diet is a low carb, moderate protein, a higher fat diet that can help you burn fat more effectively. It has many benefits for weight loss, health, and performance. Historically the ketogenic diet is a tool for disease management, not weight loss. It is a common dietary intervention for health conditions such as epilepsy. But as it has shown great results in weight correction, it's been adopted as a weight loss plan. It's well known that most tissues in the human body are using glucose from carbohydrates for energy. While you eat far fewer carbohydrates on a keto diet, you maintain moderate levels of protein intake and may increase your intake of fat. The reduction in carb intake puts your body in a metabolic state called ketosis, where fat, from the food you eat and from your body, is burned for energy. The keto diet macronutrient breakdown looks more or less like this. Fat, 60 to 80 percent. Protein, 20 to 30 percent. And carbohydrates, 5 to 10 percent. In comparison to a so-called standard diet, the macronutrient distribution of the keto diet is shifted significantly in favor of fat, with moderate protein and very few carbs. The purpose of achieving ketosis with this diet plan is to induce the metabolic breakdown of fat in your body. Thus, it's imperative that macronutrient intake is tightly controlled. Of course, one of the main reasons that the keto diet has gained recent popularity is because of its potential to help you lose weight and improve blood sugar control. What is the paleo diet? Paleo diet, also popularly known as the caveman diet is a dietary plan roughly based on what our ancestors consumed during the Paleolithic era. The paleo plan focuses more on eating meat under the assumption that early cave dwellers have limited access to grain and greens. And thus they were kind of made to eat a diet primarily composed of protein. Practitioners of this plan focus on getting energy from animal products that are high in protein and low in carbohydrates. Those who stick to a paleo diet are expected to eat grass-fed meats, fish, poultry, fruits, non-starchy vegetables such as broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, lettuce, spinach, etc. Eggs and vegetable oils, such as olive oil, coconut oil, macadamia oil, and other vegetable oils are allowed as fats. The Paleo Diet Macronutrient Breakdown 56 to 65% of your calorie intake should come from animals. 36 to 45% from plant-based foods. 19 to 25% should be proteins. 22 to 40% carbohydrates and fats, 28 to 58%. So, what is the difference between those two? Actually, paleo and keto meal plans have a lot in common. Although they are distinct, paleo and keto diets share many characteristics. Here are some of the main ideas these two have in common. Both emphasize whole foods. Both eliminate grains and legumes. Both eliminate added sugar. Both emphasize healthy fats. And also both may be effective for weight loss. So, what are the differences between those two if they look so similar? The ketogenic diet focuses on manipulating the three macronutrients, which are fat, carbs and protein for those keeping score. The paleo diet is more about the food choices. You eliminate dairy, grains and processed foods, but balance the macronutrients any way you want. There are no doubts that both paleo and keto are effective for weight loss and blood sugar control. Both meal plans exclude sugar, processed foods, legumes and grains. But paleo diet also excludes dairy products and sugar-free sweeteners. While keto does not, keto diet on the other hand excludes sweet fruits, starchy vegetables and natural sweeteners, while paleo does not exclude those. It might be the paleo diet is easier to follow the option for most people as well. It allows for more flexibility of food choices and more options for obtaining a wide array of nutrients, which your body needs on a daily basis. It also encourages an overall healthy lifestyle. More freedom within food choices makes paleo easier to maintain long term with less potential to be socially isolated. It is true that both diets are extremely effective for weight loss. 
But you have to know, that both meal plans encourage lower carbohydrate intake than the traditional weight loss plans, like reduced calorie or low-fat plans, which experts have recommended for years. So, our advice is to consult your nutritionist before you stick to one of those plans for a longer time. But we do recommend both the paleo and the keto meal plans in the short run, as both of them can be extremely effective for overall health recovery and weight loss. Thank you for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our channel now.